Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976, allowance is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use policy is in effect. Scanning your body, my brain, they for it mode Shano, shano, can up, I know your disco I won't make you help me spend my money to last card Hands on your waist, you they make me panic Oh, shoot your bond that we pass, who can't reload I'm on the way, watch your cash, hello, hey, 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 papa You go better make you follow my lead, oh Baby, where your body says, if you cheat, go See the boy, you don't live for the beatings Tell me anything you want to receive Baby, me job, oh, check out your mouth, but uh, Girl, I go give you comfort, oh, because I got you Um, I'm here to tell you guys that uh, allegedly Gucci Third Leg is out here giving people HSV2, that is genital herpes. If you collabed with him and then found out a month to three months later that you have genital herpes, there's a high likelihood that you got got by that man. Um, please go get tested if you did have any collaborations with him. I know a lot of people are being insensitive and saying like, oh, he fucks everybody raw. How are you surprised? Um, stuff like that is not always common knowledge. And another thing is... There are several niches on social media, so uh, a lot of people aren't aware of his gross or abusive ways um, until they actually experience it. They don't see it on social media. So I'm going to say this a couple times on my platform to make sure that the word gets out because I have now a big platform. Gucci, I've been waiting for this. Devastating, but I just got another phone call that Gucci third leg infected another girl allegedly with HSV2. If you are a victim of this man, please come forward, text me personally. I will get your story out there completely anonymously. Please. There are so many people that are just getting swept under the rug. He literally told this fucking person everybody has herpes in the industry. No, they don't. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was gonna send me his test results and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me and they're so young as well. He is preying on the young, he is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared and I was making so much money. I just, I, I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. I know the people that already have it know exactly what I'm talking about, but whenever you realize and find out that you have something as severe as that, it, it's heartbreaking. It causes you to go through an immense amount of trauma and depression. I was going through so much at the time, and I've already gone through so much, so at the time, it was very hard for me to speak up about anything. I do fully disclose anybody that I have sexual interactions with, I tell them before, Nobody is made unaware. I, you guys can demonize me, whatever, but I'm sorry. Hearing these girls sob and not know what to do because for a while they didn't know if that's what was going on. It's so sad because the agency does not make you test. Talent testing does not make you test for herpes. That is one of the only things that they don't make you test. Okay, so since we think that, that my story is so interesting and I have so many people tuned in, let me educate the public real quick. There are so many STDs that people do not get tested for, like HPV. 
HPV is uh, an STD that most men can't get tested for because you have to t stick a cotton swab in your tip in order to detect that virus inside of you. Most women don't know what they have until they're 21 years of age because they're not allowed to get a pap smear until they're 20 fucking one. Mgen, mycoplasma genitalium, is an STD that people don't even know exists. Only porn stars get tested for that shit. You have to literally ask them and beg people, high key. Because I remember one time I didn't get tested by talent testing and I had to literally beg my freaking gynecologist to test me for Mgen because they don't just test that, test for it. Hepatitis, there is hepatitis A, B, and C. Only C is curable and you have to go on medication for three months. The rest of them, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, the rest of them is lifelong. People don't even know about trichinomyces. They just know about gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV. HSV2 and HSV1, two viruses that also are not regularly tested on regular full panels. I'm just telling y'all that before you sit here in a key key and laugh at the next bitch for finding out that they have an STD, make sure that your results are all negative. You don't know what's going on. You don't know the dangers of having sex. Don't have sex unless you know coming from a bitch that didn't know that the person that they were about to collab with, her first collab was somebody who had an active sore. I'm stupid. I know. I did not know. I was uneducated about HSV2. I was not aware of what a lesion looked like. You guys can laugh at me. It's fine. I laughed at myself. I scolded myself. I bullied myself. None of the shit that you guys are saying to me is stuff that actually fucking hurt. I just need everybody to be aware. I do not want to watch another person lose their mind on my phone because they did not know that they were fucking with somebody that was going to give them herpes. Stay vigilant. And before you laugh at somebody, please be educated. Please know what the fuck you got going on. I was like 3,100, 3, but I was really... Emotional damage. You want some therapy?